So I got to thinking what the world needs is another YouTube video with a non-expert showing people how to sharpen chainsaws. Um, and again, um, you can probably find better qualified people. This is an introduction uh, because I've been sharpening chainsaws for a long time and it took me a while to figure out what I found to be the best way for me. Uh, certainly no expert. I'll start with what I don't use anymore. It's this tool from Harbor Freight. Um, when I started using this, I found that I started cutting crooked, and then it took me a while to realize that the the angle the uh, the angle there, you can see where I've changed it. It was off. The one side was off by five degrees. So I don't use this tool anymore. I just set it up to show you how it works. So uh, you get your chain here and it's held in place by that little bar and then you come down and you hit it with this grinding wheel I don't think the system uh, at least this cheap little thing it doesn't work I guess professional systems that cost hundreds to thousand dollars might work but this doesn't so then we'll move on to uh, hand methods so it starts on the right with straight files and yeah, just a handle Stick your file in there. I've marked all my handles <clears throat> with the saw that it goes with and the size of the file. Because I can never remember which one is which. You've got, uh, <clears throat> that's a 530 seconds for my smallest saw up to, that's a 316 for my middle saw and then a 730 seconds for the larger saw. And so I have some files from Bailey's, Bailey's uh, online. And then I have this thing I never used. The, this works. These work um, because you can see what you're doing. You can take your time, but they are tedious. So you freehand. Basically, you follow the little laser etch mark. I don't know if it'll show up there. So it's not focusing. There's an etch mark on the tooth. You put your you put the uh, file in there parallel to the etch mark, and you keep it level up and down this way. Okay, and essentially you grind across the tooth and get your point nice and sharp. So that works, but it, it takes a long time. Uh, just I'll mention here, you have the this uh, depth gauge guide or raker. Uh, file guide and uh, every three to five filings you stick that on there and you take the tops of the the rakers off <laughs> separate topic so uh, then they've got these guides and they also work they keep you on your angle so you want to maybe a 30 degree angle and you've got little um, etch marks on the top of the file you can see this right here is an etch mark so as you go across you want to be parallel to um, to the chain, to the bar. And that again, it's pretty tedious, it takes a while. I recently saw a guy on YouTube using this method, and this is kind of interesting. I've never tried it, but I'm going to try it. So you just cut off the end of the file, you stick it in a drill. Probably better to not use a um, battery powered drill, you get better speed. But essentially, uh, put your drill in reverse and line it up with your etch, your etching on the top of the uh, tooth so you're parallel and then try to keep it parallel this way or I'm sorry, I should say perpendicular and that's what you do and use this part of the file and each time you, uh, you, when your file wears out or gets full you can't clean it anymore it's worn out you just cut it off and you move up to this part and you keep moving down your file so I just saw that on YouTube I don't know if that's going to work but the best way, this is my preferred way, is to use this little thing I got from Northern Tool. I don't even doesn't even have a name on it. Uh, it was about 15 bucks. It came with three stones, three size stones. You can see there are your angle guides right there. So when you lay that down, it was the wrong size stone for this chain, but I'll just lay it on here. <clears throat> uh, there's a 30 degree line. And as long as you can get your, your up and down this way, that's pretty close. The reason I like this so much 
is it is so quick. Uh, this is a 12 volt. And in the shop, I just hook it up to a charger, a 2 amp, 12 volt charger. Okay, I've changed saws um, here in the vise so I can show you kind of how this works. Uh, let's see, you lay this in your tooth, get your angle, and turn it on. That's it. You can go all the way down. You don't have to flip the saw. You can go, uh, you know, both both sides of the chain like this. Go all the way down. Roll your chain and keep going. Uh, it's really quick. It it's sufficiently sharp. I'm not going to say this is as good as a professional sharpener, but it really makes a sharp chain. works for me on this on uh, 12 volt 2 amps and it's since it's 12 volt you can take it out in the field if you have in your truck and just hook it up so that's what I have found this is this is really cheap I'm sure this is not going to last long I, I liked it so much I bought a spare